Now the next thing that we will do is basically the form validation. That is, when the user click on the sign up button, first of all we will check that is either the user leave any text field empty or not. Also we will check if the user has picked an image or not. Okay, so we will do the complete form validation. So for that purpose, here above the widget build, I am going to implement a method and we will give it name as form validation. And it will be asynchronous. First thing that we will check is basically the image. We will check that is either the user has selected an image or not. So for that purpose we can simply say if image x file if that become equals to null it simply means the user has not yet selected any image from the gallery. So we will display an error error message basically. So for that purpose just go to the pub.dev site and we will add our dependency for using flutter toast. Okay flutter toast. Just search for flutter toast. Okay and this first one which is flutter toast with null safety so let's open it click on installing and then copy this dependency flutter toast and go to the android studio inside the pubspec.yml we can simply press that flutter toast and click on pubget so it has been added successfully now we can simply use toast messages. So using the toast message that is if the user has not selected any image from the gallery and the user click on the sign up button then we will display a message flutter toast okay which belongs to the flutter toast dot dot package flutter toast dot show toast and the message will be please select an image if the image is not selected the next one is basically if the image is selected then in that case the else statement will execute if image is selected if image is already selected then after it inside the else statement we will check that either the password is equals to the confirm password or not so we can say here that is let me write here a comment okay we will check that if the password is equals to the confirm password text writing controller dot text if it is equals to the confirm password if the password if the password is not equals to confirm password then we will simply display a toast message in that case that is password is not password or you can say password and confirm password do not match or you can say is not equals to each other okay and then inside this if condition that is if the password is equal to the confirm password then we will check the remaining fields that is the name and email so we can simply say that let me write here check email and name text field okay so we will say if the name text writing controller dot text if this is not empty and if the email text writing controller dot text dot is not empty if the email is also not empty now here we have to uh, 
also check that is if the user leave the password empty and the confirm password empty okay do not if the user do not write anything in it then empty password is also equals to the confirm password okay so we have to add here another condition that is here okay in the same if condition we will check that if the password and confirm password is also not empty so let me write here we check the email name password and then we can say confirm password if they are not empty so let me break the code in pieces so that we can see it easily and if the password text string controller dot text if that is also not empty and also if the confirm password text string controller dot text dot is not empty if all these fields are not empty okay then we can first upload our image to storage and then the next thing will be basically to save the user information to Firestore database okay these are the two things which we will do okay step one and this is the step two otherwise as I told you if any of these text field is not empty then we will execute these two steps okay we will implement that otherwise if any of these is empty then we can execute the else statement in that case and we will display the error message or you can say the toast message let me just copy this okay and we will simply tell the user that is please complete the form or you can say also that is do not leave any field any text field empty so this is so simple and so easy now let's call this method form validation whenever the user click on the sign up button so in our sign up button in the on pressed event we can say form validation okay we will call that method form validation now let's test the app to see if it is working or not so the app is running now now let's go to the registration and one by one I will also show you guys the code and you will understand it with practical example for example first of all let's check the image uh, form validation okay for the image let's say if the user fill all the form okay the user write the uh, name then the email let's say okay and then let's say confirm password uh, password and then confirm password and then without selecting the image okay the user click on the sign up button then it will say please select an image okay so this condition is executing okay because the image is empty while the rest of the form is complete now the next one is let's say select an image okay from the gallery let's choose any image for the testing purposes and now this time I check that is the case where password is equals to the confirm password or if it is not equals to the confirm password so I'm going to type here I mean wrong password let's say anything okay that is password is not equals to the confirm password so in that case if the user click on sign up then it will say password and confirm password do not match so you have to write the matching password and confirm password then the next condition is if we leave the password field and also let's say the confirm password field empty then if we click on sign up it will say please complete the form do not leave any field empty so every condition is executing successfully